Hello and welcome to the Bible with Bristol 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Bristol, and today we're going to be covering Deuteronomy 17 through 19 and Mark 13, 1 through 20. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Deuteronomy 17 Never sacrifice sick or defective cattle, sheep, or goats to the Lord your God, for he detests such gifts. When you begin to live in the towns the Lord your God is giving you, a man or a woman among you might do evil in the sight of the Lord your God and violate the covenant. For instance, they might serve other gods or worship the sun, the moon, or any of the stars, the forces of heaven, which I have strictly forbidden. When you hear about it, investigate the matter thoroughly. If it is true that it is that this is detestable thing has been done in Israel, then the man or the woman who has committed such an evil act must be taken to the gates of the town and stoned to death. But never put a person to death on the testimony of only one witness. There must always be two or three witnesses, and the witnesses must throw the first stone. And then all the people may join in. In this way you will purge the evil from among you. Suppose a case arises in a local court that is too hard for you to decide. For instance, whether someone is guilty of murder or only of manslaughter, or a difficult lawsuit or a case involving different kinds of assault. Take such legal cases to the place the Lord your God will choose, and present them to the Levitical priests or the judge on duty at that time. They will hear the case and declare the verdict. You must carry out the verdict they announce and the sentence they prescribed at the place the Lord chose. Now you must do exactly what they say after they have interpreted the law and declared their verdict. The sentence they impose must be fully executed and do not modify it in any way. Anyone arrogant enough to reject the verdict of the judge or the priest who represents the Lord your God must die in this way. You will purge the evil from Israel. Then everyone else will hear about it and be afraid to act so arrogantly. Guidelines for a king. You are about to enter the land the Lord your God is giving you. When you take it over and settle there, you may think we should select a king to rule over us like the other nations around us. If this happens, be sure to select as king the man the Lord your God chooses. You must appoint a fellow Israelite. He may not be a foreigner. The king must not build up a large stable of horses for himself or send his people to Egypt to buy horses. For the Lord has told you, you must never return to Egypt. The king must not take many wives for himself, because they will turn his heart away from the Lord, and he must not accumulate large amounts of wealth in silver and gold for himself. 
when he sits on the throne as king, he must copy for himself this body of instructions on the scroll in the presence of the Levitical chief priests. He must always keep that copy with him and read it daily as long as he lives. That way he will learn to fear the Lord his God by obeying all the terms of these instructions and decrees. This regular reading will prevent him from becoming proud and acting as if he is above his fellow citizens. It will also prevent him from turning away from these commands in the smallest way, and it will ensure that he and his descendants will reign for many generations in Israel. Gifts for the priests and Levites. Deuteronomy 18 Remember that the Levitical priests, that is, the whole of the tribe of Levi, will receive no allotment and land among the others or the other tribes in Israel. Instead, the priests and the Levites will eat from the special gifts given to the Lord, for that is their share. They will have no land of their own among the Israelites, and the Lord himself is their special possession, just as he promised them. These are the parts that the priests may claim as their share from the cattle, sheep, and goats that the people bring as offerings, the shoulder, the cheeks, and the stomach. You must also give to the priests the first share of the grain, the new wine, the olive oil, and the wool at shearing time. For the Lord your God chooses the tribe of the Levites out of all the tribes of to minister in the Lord's name forever. Suppose that Levite chooses to move from his town in Israel, wherever he is living, to the place the Lord chooses for worship. He may minister there in the name of the Lord his God just like all his fellow Levites who are serving the Lord there. He may eat his share of the sacrifice and offerings, even if he also receives support from his family. A Call to Holy Living Now when you enter the land the Lord your God is giving you, be careful not to imitate the detestable customs of the nations living there. For example, never sacrifice your son or daughter as a burnt offering, and do not let your people practice future telling or use sorcery or interpret omens or engage in witchcraft or cast spells or function as mediums or psychics, or call forth the spirits of the dead. Anyone who does these things is detestable to the Lord, and it is because the other nations have done these detestable things that the Lord your God will drive them out ahead of you. But you must be blameless before the Lord your God. The nations you are about to displace, consult, sorcerers, and fortune tellers, but the Lord your God forbids you to do such things. True and False Prophets Moses continued, The Lord your God will rise up for you a prophet like me from among you and from among your fellow Israelites, and you must listen to him. For this is what you yourselves requested of the Lord your God 
when you were assembled at Mount Sinai. You said, Don't let us hear the voice of the Lord our God any more, or see this blazing fire, for we will die. Then the Lord said to me, What they have said is right. I will rise up a prophet like you from among their fellow Israelites, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he will tell the people everything I command him. I will personally deal with anyone who will not listen to the message the prophet proclaims on my behalf. But any prophet who falsely claims to speak in my name, or who speaks in the name of another god, must die. But you may wonder, how will we know whether or not a prophecy is from the Lord? If the prophet speaks in the Lord's name, but his prediction does not happen or come true, you will know that the Lord did not give that message. The, that prophet has spoken without my authority and needs not be feared. Cities of Refuge Deuteronomy 19 When the Lord your God destroys the nations whose land he is giving you, you will take over their land and settle in their towns and homes. Then you must set apart three cities of refuge in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Survey the territory and divide the land the Lord your God is giving you into three districts with, with one of these cities in each district. Then anyone who has killed someone can flee to one of the cities of refuge for safety. If someone kills another person unintentionally without previous hostility, the slayer may flee to any of these cities to live in safety. For example, suppose someone goes into the forest with a neighbor to cut wood, and suppose one of them swings an axe to chop down a tree, and the axe head flies off the handle, killing the other person. In such cases, the slayer may flee to one of these cities of refuge to live in safety. If the distance to the nearest city of refuge is too far and enraged, Avenger might be able to chase down and kill the person who caused the death. Then the slayer would die unfairly, since he had never shown hostility towards the person who died. This is why I am commanding you to set aside three cities of refuge. And if the Lord your God enlarges your territory, and as he swore to your ancestors, and gives you all the land he promised you, you must designate three additional cities of refuge. He will give you this land, and if you are careful to obey all the commands I give you, and if you always love the Lord your God and walk in his ways, that way you will prevent the death of innocent people in the land the Lord your God is giving you as your special possession. You will not be held responsible for the death of innocent people. But suppose someone is hostile towards a neighbor and deliberately ambushes and murders him and then flees to one of these cities of refuge. In that case, the elders of the murderer's hometown must send agents to the city of refuge to bring him back 
and hand him over to the dead person's avengers to be put to death. Do not feel sorry for that murderer. Purge from Israel the guilt of murdering innocent people. Then all will go well with you. Concern for Justice when you arrive in the land the Lord your God is giving you as your special possession, you must never steal anyone's land by moving the boundary markers your ancestors set up to mark their chair, their properties. You must not convict anyone of a crime on the testimony of only one witness. The fact of the case must be established by the testimony of two or three witnesses. If a malice witness comes forward and accuses someone of a crime, then both the accuser and the accused must appear before the Lord by coming to the priests and judges in office at that time. The judge must investigate the case thoroughly. If the accuser has brought false charges against his fellow Israelite, you must impose on the accuser the sentence he intended for the other person. In this way, you will purge the evil from among you. Then the rest of the people will hear about it and be afraid to do such an evil thing. You must show no pity for the guilty. You will, your rule should be life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, and foot for foot. That concludes Deuteronomy 17 through 19. And now we will be turning to Mark uh, 23. Is that right? No, Mark 13. Yes, Mark 13. Jesus speaks about the future. Let's try that again. <laughs> Jesus speaks about the future. Mark 13. As Jesus was leaving the temple that day, one of his disciples said, Teacher, look at these magnificent buildings. Look at the impressive stones in the walls. And Jesus replied, Yes, look at these great buildings. But they will be completely demolished. Not one stone will be left on top of another. Later, Jesus sat on the Mount of Olives across the valley from the temple. Peter, James, John, and Andrew came to him privately and asked him, Tell us, when will all this happen? And what signs will show us that these things are about to be fulfilled. Jesus replied, Don't let anyone mislead you, for many will come in my name, claiming I am the Messiah. They will deceive many, and you will hear of wars and threats of wars, but do not panic. Yes, these things must take place, but the end won't follow immediately. Nations will go to war against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms, and there will be earthquakes in many parts of the world, as well as famine. But this is only the first of the birth pains, with more to come. When these things begin to happen, watch out. 
you will be handed over to local councils and beaten in the synagogues and you will stand trial before governors and kings before you are my followers but this will be your opportunity to tell them about me for the good news must first be preached to all nations but when you are arrested and stand trial don't worry in advance about what to say just say what god tells you at that time for it is not you who will be speaking but the holy spirit a brother will betray his brother to death a father will betray his own children and children will rebel against their parents and cause them to be killed and everyone will hate you because you are my followers but the one who endures to the end will be saved that day is coming when you will see the sacrilegious object that causes desecration standing where he should not be reader pay attention then those in judea must flee to the hills a person out on the deck of a roof must not go down into the house to pack a person out in the field must not return even to get a coat how terrible it will be for the pregnant woman and the nursing mothers in those days and pray that your flight will not be in winter for there will be greater anguish in those days than at any other time since god created the world and it will never be so great again in fact unless the lord shortens that time of calamity not a single person will survive but for the sake of his chosen ones he has shortened those days and that was mark well i mean mark 13 1 through 20 which will conclude today's reading, reading in the bible tomorrow we will be covering deuteronomy 2022 and mark 13 21 through 37 I'd like to thank you, Father, for your word, because if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word, and I would not be able to give you all the praise and for all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe have enjoyed being your messenger of the word of god and as always you know god loves you and so do i so come back and see us tomorrow because well god will and will be here and we hope that you are too thank you and god bless you and please like and share